All right, so this is the fourth video in the townie series. This is going to teach you how to set your town spawn, how to change your town's home block, as well as some other stuff that uh, you don't really need, but would be nice to have. Actually, setting your town spawn would be quite nice because your members will be able to spawn right in your town rather than the server spawn, which is quite far away. So this saves them the trouble of having to walk all the way over here. So, so the first thing you need to do is find your home block. You can only set your town spawn in the home block. The home block being the first block that you claimed. So all you have to do to set your spawn is slash town set spawn. And here is where we're going to respawn if we kill ourselves. So let's just try that. Slash kill self. Killed myself. And boom. We respawn right back into our town. But what if we want to make our town respawn in this block rather than this one? Now if we do slash town set spawn, it'll tell us that we have to be in the home block. So first we have to change the home block to this uh, chunk here. So just slash town set home block and that'll change our home block to here so now we can do slash town set spawn the next thing you can do is set attacks on your town so that every day uh, attacks will be drawn from your town residents now I don't recommend this because if they don't have enough money to pay the tax they're automatically kicked out of the town so that might confuse you and your friends when they find out that they were kicked out of the town and you have to explain to them why but if you wanted to do that all you have to do is type slash town set taxes and let's just make it, you know, 500 per day. And every day, it'll automatically collect $500 from people and put it in the town bank, even if they're not currently online. Okay, so what if we want to give one part of our town to only one member? Maybe you have 10 people in your town, and some people are, you know, messing with other people's creations, and you want to dedicate one, you know, chunk of the town to one of your members. Uh, you can do that. So let's say we want to give Alex, our only member in the town, a chunk right here. The first thing we have to do is slash plot for sale. And that'll put up your plot for sale. Now right now you'll see that it's for sale for zero dollars. We don't want to make no profit off this sale even though we're selling it to our own resident. We can set a price for plots by doing slash uh, town set plot price whoops price and let's say we want to sell it for ten thousand dollars now that'll set all the plots in your town for ten thousand dollars and now if we go in here you'll see that it's for sale for ten thousand dollars so if Alex has ten thousand dollars he can buy this plot um, of the town it's still gonna be a part of the town the mayor will still be able to edit it but basically it prevents everyone else in the town from editing it so Alex will get a bit of privacy and now I'm gonna tell him how to claim it by doing slash plot claim and now he has typed slash plot claim and this part of the town is now his and when I walk into it you'll see that it is belonging to Alex Nev 88 so after we uh, made the sale of the plot what if we want to keep making some profit off of Alex we can just type slash town set plot tax and let's say we want to set it to 500 a day so now for every plot that Alex owns he's gonna have to pay five hundred dollars on it He's also going to have to pay the town tax. So Alex has a tax of $1,000 per day, while people who don't own plots will have a pr tax of only 500 Alex has been playing for a while now, and we've discovered that he's a pretty loyal member of the town. He's pretty diligent in getting some money. He's depositing the town bank, and he's also building some cool structures. And we start to trust Alex more, and we want to set him as a town assistant. This will allow him to basically have the same uh, commands as a mayor, the only difference being that he can't remove the mayor from town. So you want to be very careful when you're setting someone as an assistant. So if we want Alex as an assistant, we just do town assistant add. And if he's offline, then we would have to do add plus. But he's online, so we just do add Alex Nev 88 And now he is a town assistant. So he's going to be able to do everything that we've mentioned here. He's going to be able to claim add members, kick members, and you know, set plots and all that shiznat. If I'm like, oh, I don't want the town anymore and I want to set Alex as the mayor, I can do that as well, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I have a couple more things to show you, such as setting the town board. Setting the town board will let people see like a motto of your town when they do slash town for you. And it will also 
uh, set the greeting message for your town members. Every time your town members log in, they're going to see your uh, board message. So let's say we want to spread some propaganda to our town members. We can change it to yellow people are the best. We can do it to town set board yellow people are the best. And now if you do slash town, you'll see that that's basically the motto of our town. And anyone else who checks our town by doing slash town yellow power, whoops, <coughs> will be able to see that uh, that is our board message. And when people log in, they're going to see yellow people are the best. All right, that's basically everything you need to know about townie. This mod is obviously being developed and there's going to be a lot of new things added. So we're going to periodically make new videos telling you uh, what other features are available for Townie. Alright, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you.